Hello, this is Gaetan Range for Ella News. Today I will introduce you a new innovative technology. One of the main issues in the industry is to ensure the internal logistics. Bring the right pieces at the right place and at the right time. The common solution used to carry out this task is the pallet conveyor, but it has several inconveniences. It takes space and it's a non-automated tool so that you need to hire someone to manipulate it. In 2015, a team of engineers specialized in automation and mechanics decided to innovate in the sector of industry by creating the Metal Fillings Evacuator 3000. This robot will change the way your company works, say goodbye to transiting problems, and welcome to your new logistic partner. To present you this revolutionary machine, let me introduce you someone. His name is Gosens, and he is responsible for the mechanic part of the project MFE 3000. Hello, Mr. Gosens. Hi, how are you doing? Could you explain us why the Metal Fillings Evacuator 3000 is mechanically innovative? Yes, of course. Yeah, in fact, the MFE 3000 is a completely autonomous and electrical machine. This three wheel robot uses two independent motors on its rear axle. This particularity allows to manage the speed of each driven wheel separately, so that there is no need of a classical, heavy and breakable steering system. The front wheel is a free one. The MFE is then able to turn on itself uh, what is really useful to carry out a maneuver in a restricted space. Each motor uses an intricate transmission system, its spur gears make it really efficient. Another particularity is its frame. The metal filling evacuator is an entirely aluminium made robot. This lightweight material allows us to limit the mass of each machine to less than 5 kg. The two spars fixed on the frame in aluminium too make it really stiff, so that the robot structure will be extremely resistant and durable. Finally, weight disposition has been studied to ensure an optimal adherence on the ground. Thank you, Mr. Gerson. And now, I would like to introduce you the most important characteristic of the MFE. The fact that it is completely autonomous. And who better to talk about that than Mr. Maraschiro, the electrical supervisor. Hello, Mr. Marcia. Hello, Mr. Ranga. So, can you tell us how you proceed? Well, the brain of the motor is the Arduino board. This electronical part contains the algorithm of the MFE. It's responsible to manage the different sensors and actuators of the robot. The board is able to read the information coming from the color sensor placed on the front of the vehicle and to determine the color on which the robot is rolling. The two motors are driven by an H-bridge that allows to modify the power of the each one in real time. A battery equips the robot and answers the power supply of all components. Thanks to this battery, the MFE is able to work during several hours without being recharged. But what makes the MFE really interesting is its Bluetooth antenna. Thanks to this component, the robot can carry out deplacement without being linked into any ground or wall. The MFE can be remotely controlled only by pushing a simple button. Thank you, Mr. Maraschino. Now, let's look at the operation of the robot. Mrs. Katinus, you're the third engineer that works on this project, yes. and you're the operations supervisor. Could you explain us how does the MFE concretely work? Yes, the MFE is able to follow correct lines on the road. A color sensor placed on the front of the robot is constantly scanning the road. The information it returns to the, to the Arduino are used to manage the power of the two motors. In the following example, the motor must move along a three-colored lane. If the red color is detected by the sensor, that means the robot deviates from this trajectory and has to turn right to turn on the right direction. 
The Arduino is then able to reduce the power of the right motor if the color sensor detects blue. It's the left wheel that is uh, slow down. As you can see, the robot will always stay on the right path. Okay, but what if the MFE has to turn to bypass the machine, for example? The MFE is also able to corner. It uses the same principle that in twin lines. The color uh, limits uh, of the path ensure the robot will stay on the right direction. Impressive, but when the robot arrives to its destination, is it able to stop itself? Of course, the third color is used for the stop areas. When the robot detects the green color, the power of the motors is progressively reduced to ensure the smooth, uh, smoothly uh, slow down. Uh, in the same way, the electrical power management allows small stars. This is uh, very useful to care the tone item. That's really clever, but the question everybody wants to ask is how much weight can the MFE carry out? That's a, the strong point of the metal fillings evacuator. It's able to tow a trailer that weighs up to three times this own weight. Thank you, Mrs. Katinis. Thanks. And now I'll defer to Mr. Gossens again that will explain you why your company cannot do without the MFE. Thank you. The MFE takes its name from the fact that first it was designed to evacuate the fillings containers coming from a machining process. But the MFE is capable of much more. Thanks to its polyvalence, the MFE is able to carry out any load put on a trailer. Waste containers, raw material, finished goods, anything that can be towed uh, will be by the MFE. Of course, you may imagine to improve the robot, for example, make it track something else, or in different colors and sizes. Okay, thank you Mr. Gossens and all your team for presenting your prototype. I sincerely wish you great results. That was Gaetan Rage for LA News, and now, back to the studio.